Good morning, Arvada. I'm Vanessa Artea. And I'm Laura Hernandez, and we are here with your Bulldog News. Hey, Vanessa, weren't those great pictures from Mr. Bigler from Friday night? Yes, Laura, they were. I wish I could have been there to see it in person. Anna? An important message from security had just came in. If you are parked on school grounds without your ve vehicle being registered, you will get a ticket. Also, if your class brings up the number of students who show up to TCAP or ACT, you will be invited to a giant cookout during school in August of next year. This is a class competition. You, there will be a DJ, grilled hot dogs, cotton candy, and a variety of snacks and drinks for the winning classes. This is only open to next year's 10th, 11th, and 12th grades. Here to tell us more about the competition is Damaris Dallas with Ms. Norton. I'm here with Ms. Norton asking her about the TCAP competition for freshmen and sophomores this year. So what exactly is this competition, Ms. Norton? Well, I meet with a group of students usually twice a month on Thursday afternoons, and we had a conversation about last year we had some kids who just decided for whatever reason not to take the assessments, not only the CSAP but also the ACT, and the students suggested that we do something fun and so what they suggested is that we have a giant barbecue in August. And what we're going to look at is if this year's ninth graders, if more of them take the CSAP than the group last year or the TCAP this year, then they'll be invited to the barbecue. The same thing for the sophomores and the juniors taking the ACT. If the number of students increase who come and take the assessments, then you'll be invited to a barbecue that's driven by your grade level. If your grade level doesn't make their goal, then you're not invited to the barbecue and it will be during the school day. It's not part of lunch. We'll cook hundreds of hot dogs and hamburgers. Mr. Falk and Miss Hegmeyer have agreed to make cotton candy. So it should just be a fun time and we'll have a DJ up on the very top field. And you're invited if you and your friends all come in and take the test. Sounds like a really fun idea to get kids to take it. I think I, it's a good idea. I know a bunch of kids who just felt like it wasn't that big a deal, so now they'll have some push and encouragement this year. We're hoping so, and it's also something to think about. These assessments are practice for the rest of your life. When you take these assessments, you're practicing for tests that will mean a lot to you when you take the ACT. That's what gets you into college. It also gets you into the scholarship rounds. And when you look at post-secondary options, if you want to be a bus driver, you have to take a test. Yeah. You want to be a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, you have to take these tests. And this is a great time to practice those skills, become very efficient in taking those tests, and not get stressed out because, oh, geez, it's a test. And I really want my law degree, and I want to pass the bar. Well, that's a test. And this is good practice for the rest of your life. I also wanted to share with all of you, we just got back to make your voice heard survey. Your parents obviously think it's very important that you're successful at school. That's indicated in the make your voice heard survey. This is an opportunity to show yourself, your family, and your community how smart you are and the skills that you've learned in this building because you're working with some world-class teachers. So you're entering the All-Star Week and we expect all of you to be all-stars in these assessments. So, go Bulldogs. <laughs> well, we wish you luck freshmen and sophomores, and that's the competition for you. And ACT practice will be in a couple weeks, and then in April we'll have the ACT. So 11th graders, this is a good time for you to hone those skills too. So good luck to all of you. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Damaris and Ms. Norton, for the information. I'm Rena Lopez. And I'm Sierra Cooper. And due to a swarm of bees, a mad charging bull, and a mysterious man called the doctor, we are here to finish today's Bulldog News. Um, thanks, Sierra. But in news, we are seeking of the truth, so maybe we should just tell him the truth. We had some technical difficulties. Don't forget, juniors, that the mandatory ACT practice is March 14th from 8 a.m. to 12. Today's the beginning of discipline action taking place for eating lunch in the halls. That's right, Arvada. No more eating lunch in the hallways. You will receive an in-school suspension. Freshmen and sophomores, don't forget, TCAP is tomorrow. You have a modified schedule. Be here by 8 a.m. and make sure you have a ride by noon. Juniors and seniors, remember that class starts at 1235. Be here on time or sooner. Seniors, don't forget that the 2012 t-shirts are for sale in the library. The Prom Fashion Show is Wednesday, March 7th at 12.30 p.m. 
Hey students, the library has all sorts of new books in, so come on in and check them out. Boys are inter interested in swimming, so if, if please go see Ms. Powell or Mr. Summers for more information. Girls interested in playing lacrosse, Green Mountain High School is having open tryouts today from 4.30 to 6.30 in their gym. So if you're interested in playing lacrosse, go check it out. And finally, the Girls Swim Banquet is Wednesday, March 7th at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. That's all we have for you today. Good luck to all UT cappers. We will be here on Friday with more of your Bulldog news. Have a great day, Arvada. It's a great day to be an Arvada Bulldog.